അപ്പൊ ഞാൻ ഇത് പിടിക്കുമെങ്കിലും നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പ്രത്യേകിച്ച് വ്യത്യാസം തോന്നാൻ പോകുന്നില്ല അപ്പൊ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഫോർ ഇൻവൈറ്റിംഗ് മീ എന്റെ പേര് ഗുരുദത്ത് ഐ ഐ ഐ എം സപ്പോസ് ടു ടോക്ക് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് റൈറ്റ് സോ ഐ ഓക്കെ ലെറ്റ് സ്പീക്ക് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സോ Uh, i'm glad that i came into the field of artificial intelligence uh, not by choice but by chance i was a startup uh, entrepreneur back in 2017 and it failed okay so i had to wind up the company then i left it then i had to come back at some point later and this time i was introduced to ai okay i got through uh, a program by microsoft then i got access to open ai okay way before it was a big deal and uh, i started working on like some random project like i was developing my own ideas i learned uh, programming myself using these technologies um, like in a span of 6 months so i am very confident that it is possible for anyone okay i i studied engineering by the way so i had i had already i mean i was supposed to learn programming during my college days that's why i said like if you don't know coding that's fine okay you can still learn it and that was mainly due to my teachers who were mostly my seniors who didn't know how to teach so i hated it then but now i don't because i i know how to do this because my perspective changed nobody was there to teach me so i can i was able to learn myself there was a uh, a lot of scope for experimentation because i had nothing to lose so i just kept on doing what i liked i kept on doing the project i liked and especially i belong to the media industry i wanted to do like what is the scope of ai in the field of media and uh, ironically it is linked to all other uh, areas of life media right because you all consume media we all watch media we all use in, even in your day to day work it is one of your main part okay so uh, so then i realized okay i should learn more i started learning uh, again i i f- tried to make connections i tried to talk to people but then i realized not many people know about these technologies yet so i thought okay i should i should start speaking about this i started doing workshops uh, i did in few places um, i wanted to i really want to do a, in it parks like this but most of them even the, like there are people who from uh, info park actually said this is not that great of a technology okay it 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 does, it's not going to really help us in uh, in the long run or now at least because uh, people still have to code and ai can never replace engineers uh but i was skeptic back then i'm i'm still uh, because i know I, it's it's in the infancy state right now if it can do so much things now just imagine what it can do in the very near future and as as you know like its learning curve is exponential not like us we take time to learn we have to go through four years of college to get a degree uh, as for, so that somebody can validate our, our efficiency right but for that it is not needed it just need more servers more computation more more funding it can learn more than a human can do so uh, that is how i came into the so that was my story i don't know where i am where i reached yet but i am i am sure that i am uh, going in a direction that not not many people are and i am i'm also sure that this is going to be the new thing okay things are going to change especially in this this decade for all the students that are here i want you to know, uh, know that you have to learn this because there won't be a job waiting for you by the time you get out okay you have to create your own um, you have to create your own jobs basically so that you have to for that you have to know, know these technologies for the ones who are sitting or the all the ones who have job i really hope that you learn this because uh, people or the companies will start adapting these technologies to your work very soon okay and by then you should know these technologies because somebody else will and they are going to replace your job so that is also important for all the other members here uh so i really want to know like let's start with why why are you here like what do you expect uh to learn from this session because these are some basic metrics okay um like i said i am a failed entrepreneur so i know how like failing is there failing will happen okay all the 96% of the companies will fail in 10 years so you are you are we being part of one or are you running a company please take some chairs uh, find yourself comfortable 
and um, you guys can split uh, how many are there eight like we we divided the whole people into eight groups so just sit uh, who, which group has less number of people okay how many are okay four members come here how many are there only two okay one two three four the other ones come here this side okay what is your group number okay okay hold on how what is your group group how many are there five get two more you guys join this team which group are you in your group six okay who else don't have a team you have a team now okay you are here you guys come here you will say group okay let's yeah you don't have a team any 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 team wants more people okay anyone yeah take take them take you go you join that team okay let's come back let's come back uh now in this session in this workshop we are we are we are going to be very focused on you okay it's about you not me not your company you are working right now it's about you and i'm very happy to do these sessions here because uh, usually i'm not allowed to in like for example in one company i was uh, asked um, to talk about ai and the manager say told me like don't talk about the advantages of ai because people will leave so then i have to uh, very carefully uh, like not say many things and still try to um, uh, talk about ai and giving them some hope uh, but here i don't want to do that okay i really want to like give you what it can do so it's about you and your idea if you have an idea i'm sure you all have some idea right about something i at some point you had an idea and probably somebody else have already done it okay now today we are going to do something about that we are if you don't have an idea we will find one if you do we will try to figure out how to make it happen okay it doesn't mean big ideas it can also be small ideas um and we will see how so let's start with chat gpt uh, all the new members you will have to log in uh, but for the rest of us anybody here tried like already tried chat gpt yeah okay can you just shout what you like about it just something what did, what did you try by the way okay so it can so it's like it says chat right so you can chat with it so so one what's your name brother abdul so abdullah said uh it can remember the previous question you asked now you have to know that this is the latest technology okay so by the time uh, when i started using it i used gpt another technology like the previous versions and it was not as good as this and uh, right now they made it for free that is why that is how you can access this now who else used it so yeah what it can code, it can code. yeah that is one of the use cases that we will do now content generation so it can create content in any text like any anything that can be uh, generated as a text it will generate for you right yeah anybody else ah uh, it can be very creative it can write poems what does you try you somebody here use right you you define anything can it fly uh oh. did you ask about you and <laughs> so it doesn't know you right okay but it but it still gave you something so it is it is going to give you something right for all your queries and did it say like at any point that it doesn't know yeah so it also says that right sometimes it, it when it it doesn't know it says that yeah what did you ask ah okay so it it knows what is legal and illegal what did you ask by the way <laughs> okay so you don't want to say that but you understand right so it knows now 
ask these questions okay when it's yeah ah Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that means, uh, like, she died before that, right? Yeah. So that means the data that it has still don't know uh, that the yeah, queen passed. The, uh, the, it was yeah. Oh, it said that too. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so there are misinformation, right? That means it can it can be wrong. Okay, okay. But for those who haven't tried, we will try it today. Who the the new members, right? I want you to. Before we start, let's start with um, what ChatGPT can do. By the way, you all like to follow instructions, right? You all like when your parents ask you to do something. Will you do it, or do you do it? Yeah, you want to do it, but you can't, right? Sometimes. Uh, what what about a machine, a device? How do you communicate with your device? Like most of some of you are like software engineers, right? How do you communicate? Do, how do you code usually? You type. Do you speak? Do you speak to your computer? Why not? No. Wh why why do you think typing is still the best way? Is it typing is faster? Okay and precise okay so the the you know that like like siri alexa speaking is far now it's very possible right but why do why do we still uh follow typing with our hands uh, this is a basic question okay there's no right and wrong you are used to it yeah yes with respect to code Yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's a very good point, right? So um, it's not normal words that you, you that you use for code, right? Uh, but in the case of uh, in the case of yeah. Ah, uh, that is true. Yes, that is very good. But but I've seen technologies like recent ones which can still uh, do it. Even the uh, latest uh, Apple one, right? So uh, the Google has a basic one, um, and now Apple has one too. So first of all, I have to uh, I have I want you to know that like what are the options that we have? Even we use it or not, we do have an option to speak to it. It understand. Uh, what about can you show it? Like can you understand you as a person yet? Um, is there any way we can communicate it through, like in a video form? Yeah, there are some technologies, right? We may not have it, but they are still there. So we give instructions to the machine, like in various ways. But my question is, do we follow instructions from a machine? Would you like to follow? But do you? My question is, do you? Yeah, give me an example. Google Max, very good. Google Maps, what is what are we really doing? We give some input and we are actually following instructions from a from an AI basically, right? From an app. What about Uber? Same thing, right? Who is who is following the instruction? The driver. The same with Zomato, like all the food apps. Somebody is following instructions from an app, right? What if it is wrong? <laughs> we never ask that. Somehow we believe that it's always right. And it is most of the time it is right. But have you tried Google Maps and end up in the middle of nowhere? Yeah. yeah? Who are who are there to blame for that? Like who? What's wrong in that? Like we we still use that right after that. So yeah, somehow we got used to it. Now first, before we start, I want you to know that there is this company called Open AI. Okay. Um, uh, it's uh, you know Elon Musk. So he was one of the founders. There is another person called Sam Altman. You can write these things. Like there are a few things I will ask you to write. Just write them. Okay, it'll be very useful. So these guys find them online. Uh, Elon, you know, but Sam Altman is like he talks about things which are going to happen very soon. Okay, so whenever he talks, just listen to him. Uh, so it started in 20, 2015, and they were on the research stage. Then they've built their product called GPT. 
and then on top of that they built various versions and finally it reached chat gpt they are still working on many other iterations of it for example gpt 4 is coming many many new outcomes are going to come so anyways it's based in california and what uh, is different from from other companies like right? so google amazon all the monopolies right you know that they have ai you know that right so when you try to search for something you just have to imagine something suddenly it pops up in your google search <laughs> have you noticed that uh, my brother in law wanted to buy some potatoes so he was talking to that to my sister and suddenly somehow the next time he took his phone out there was potato in the google search okay so how can it know it's not god right so it, it might be it might be capturing our sounds somehow it knows so uh, these guys figured that okay these uh, the, all the monopolies have the advantage of ai and we give them the data so they are they are even though it's not public they all have ai even our google search right have you seen your google search it's it's far better than the previous years because they they implement ai even without us knowing it but it's not public we don't we can't access it okay we can only use their service and we are actually give, we are the product by the way for all the for all of them so these guys said okay you have to make it uh accessible to all all the large uh, technology so ai they formed this company open ai and they wanted to make it public okay and uh, obviously it, it uh, has to go through a monetized form because it is going to use a lot of computation power so it is uh, a non profit and they want to develop and direct develop direct artificial intelligence in ways that benefit humanity as a whole this is the intention okay so first anybody who didn't come like who came late just scan this qr code you have to sign up now open ai you have to start an account um, just like you do in any other website all the newcomers scan this first <coughs> The rest of you, I uh, take ChatGPT now because we will start working on it. You, uh, it's just a chat interface. Um, all of us, all of you have WhatsApp, right? All of you have WhatsApp. How many have WhatsApp? Just raise your hand. Okay, who, those who don't, just raise your hand. Okay, fine. Get your WhatsApp. I want you to, um, hey guys, you scan, scan this, right? Uh, scan, scan this one. I want all of you to join this group right now, because uh, I want your outcome to be posted in this group so that we can test it. Sometimes it can be code. Sometimes all the assignments that I'm giving you in this session right now. Okay, get this. Uh, get this link. Join the group. Okay, so uh, the the ones for all of the for all of the ones who don't have Chat GPT yet. So once you sign up to OpenAI, you have to log in. So this is the link for Chat GPT. Okay, so now you log in, uh, and the interface. Just get used to the interface. Whoever logged in, you get used to the interface. Just see what is there. Uh, so it's basically like a like a chatbot. Okay. I want you to start like imagine the possibilities that you can use. Don't don't just go with what others are saying in the internet. Just go like think about it. What want what do you want it to do? Like what do you really want it to perform? Like give it some task, challenge it. Like give it uh, give maybe give something like ask ask. It to speak like your friend, okay? We don't like what what's happening with WhatsApp now. 
there are not many people who want to talk to you right when you want to talk is that the problem we want like it can be used in any form okay so technology is there you have to just imagine this as an actor imagine mohanlal okay he act in very different movies so each movie he has his own characteristics different characters right but it's the same guy playing different roles so likewise ai can perform different roles and that is what we are going to try so once you go in the first thing you have to learn is something called a prompt okay write this down you have to know this word this is going to be uh, probably a new job will form something called prompt engineering okay um so prompt is very important what is a prompt prompt is what you ask the ai okay it can be like in computer terms it's a trigger by the user to generate the required output you have something to do you want it to do something that you ask and that is called a prompt p r o m t okay let's start with this then let's start with an assignment because uh, since no, none of you have interesting ideas to ask let's let me give you some idea i want you to search for settle caston okay everyone search for settle caston i want you to find who nicholas luhman is nicholas luhman and settle caston anybody already know about this guy i'll be very happy to see that okay then find out what is settle caston and who is nicholas luhman okay whoever found just read the answer yeah please can you can you just a little bit louder okay okay that's fine that's fine so basically what's information is a german sociologist right so nicholas luhmann was a german social what else what else you get he was a professor he has written something but this is what he really is okay he is a german sociologist that's correct he has written 50 books uh, around 400 research papers and 200 other papers he don't even care to publish okay this is somebody who is that kind of a genius now this is way before uh, technologies like this exist okay so he actually showed uh, now the question comes is how how is a hum like how a human being is able to generate this kind of an output i mean we can do this with the help of an ai right i'm asking like how how could have we done it now that is where settle caston come, comes in read what settle caston is parne yeah louder louder please ah okay okay so but the, uh, if you have a notebook please write this down these are these are like points or you save it or post it in the group you have a group now right just copy and paste it so it is a method uh, it's a not taking method okay know that now what is special about this not taking method because we all know how to take notes why is settle caston is different all groups i, I want answer from each group okay so this is what group number 4 you said right which group are you all of your group one okay this is which group eight yeah say something about it what is settle caston i mean you ask it you don't have to even find it just ask again yeah say something you didn't get it no internet if you don't have internet ask your friend to share the hotspot please yeah you got something is it that difficult it doesn't know by the way ask what is the word mean like the word meaning of settle caston okay 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 exactly 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 so so that means 
there is something like he has done something so what he does it's a smart note taking system okay he found his own methodology he said we need to take notes like we all do we all take notes right but what is the problem with that note taking method for example your teacher is standing here he's saying something you write some notes do we even like it's very rare that we will go through it again but even if we do do we remember the exact same information like after one day or many days when somebody ask you what is the answer that you are going to give i mean you don't even remember right so he was saying the reason is because we are getting an information from somebody else he processes that information okay we don't have it as ourselves yet so when you get an information you have to write it down then you have to make another note with your own wordings okay you have to write your own note so that that information becomes your information now that information can be very short it doesn't have to be long okay because you already you always get some an idea of the whole thing right you won't you won't remember the word by word exact reproduction of what the teacher said so he figured out okay i'm going to write this in small sheets of paper and then he also linked it so that's what you are saying so one knot can link to another idea which is another knot so he has done like many knots and he also written like text that this is linked to that idea on that knot and every knot has a number and he stored everything in a big box with small compartments okay and he know exactly which knot stays where so he was building his own mental what wikipedia and like ask again how zedel kasten could have inspired hyperlink what is hyperlink yeah what do what happens when you click a link goes to another so we are moving from one information to another right so it is said that it like the when the when they created the internet this could have uh be a reason for them to even add that idea of hyperlink that okay, this could have been one of the original ideas because one text is linked one idea is linked to another idea we can move around right so likewise he built his own version and he was able to generate as many ideas he want because once you start from an idea you know exactly where that idea can link to so all this link can be formed and he could build his own knowledge repository so that is what we see as books and papers now you have to really think about this okay at least even if you don't get anything from this session know about this guy read, read about his not taking methods like what is our real asset uh i uh, out of the question out of the portion but i want to ask what is the real asset what asset do you want right now not your parents not your what what do you think as an asset for the future pavile assets are endake irikum data yeah but do you own the data do you own any data right now what is the what is the data that you want code can be a data that 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 can be used right um but how does the value like we need to generate value out of it right yeah generator ah yeah you can generate your own data right existing data yeah so one idea is that so you have to understand that data exists everywhere you all work in the stream of data right some one for one form of other now why all the data is not relevant to you or your company okay you are working on specific data then that data can be called as information the one the data that is useful for you or your company is called information now like you are saying the, the the relevant data if you are able to collect the relevant data that is exactly what we are doing in your colleges right you are learning what you really want to know in that subject area you are not learning everything else so and then what you do then you have to refine that information to build your own knowledge base so that is what he, he did he he was able to build his own knowledge base okay now how does that becomes your knowledge that is uh, one of his uh, teaching that you have to write your own notes your own words that so that it becomes your own idea your own knowledge and it can be called a specific knowledge okay it is not somebody else's when it comes to you it becomes your knowledge until then it's not yours yet so you may study everything but it won't be yours okay let's go forward um 
now i i i did a search on it i have a video for that um okay let me show you what i did on lumen okay there is no right way of doing this so uh, so i asked about lumen right about nicholas lumen and his Did you get something uh, similar also? So we just go through my process now. Now this is like uh, you are saying. Wh what do you think this is? Is this uh, is this data or information? It's information because I am asking for a specific data. Okay. So now I said okay. Um, I want to know more about his work, it not just like talk about his study and his books. So then it asks for that. So again, also sometimes you can see that it is kind of reproducing the same text, but which is fine. Okay, for us, we will get what we want from it. So here, systems theory of communication. He has written many papers, the social systems of economy. Is one of his books. Most of them are written in German, by the way. Now, now I ask for Cyril Garston, and how is it related to Nicholas Luhmann? So this is what you have to learn. Okay, when you when it comes to AI, you should know exactly what to ask. You it can't be like your Google search. You should know, like you should think about how an AI can think, how an AI can relate data. Then, then your answers get better. When if your answer is not that good, that means your question is not that good. Okay, it's not the problem with the AI. So you have to refine the way you ask question. So it says, yeah, it, it, it's, it's talking about the data that I mentioned. I asked about how it could have uh, uh, influenced hyperlinks. So it says, it also says it's not directly, it couldn't, there is no proof for that, but it could have influenced. Okay, so I used it to search, right? Now, now what I'm doing now, I got an abstract from a uh, research paper. Okay, this is a public available research paper, and I asked it to summarize that paper. Now, this is another use case for GPT-3. Sorry, Chat GPT. Okay, you can ask it to summarize a, a form of text uh, in any form of text, like any large quantity of text. It, so I asked for, uh, it to summarize, then I asked to make it even shorter. So now, if it was like seven, eight lines long, now it's three or four lines long. Now, there are many use cases, by the way. This is not just for academic purpose, but uh, even for YouTube videos. You can ask for a YouTube video description. It will give you. So it's like I wanted to make it even shorter. Okay, this is all based on an abstract that uh, the uh, the text that I gave it in the friend. So it can be used for your research purposes. Now it can even go further. Like we can ask for like specific research papers written about Settle Caston. Now we are talking like in the university sense. Like you have when you when you have to submit a project, right? You have to uh, go with the already uh, research purpose, right? Already done. So these are like that. Many people they also gave who he who wrote what, and uh, the title of the research paper. Then I asked, okay, explain the data in all the research paper mentioned above. You see how I'm asking it? Like I wanted specific information. I could go to internet and find these papers, but I don't have time for that. So I will ask them. I will ask it again that give me the idea that is inside on each research paper. So for it's it's going to give me like for each paper mentioned above. All the numbers that you see now are the ideas of those papers. Okay, then then I want to, because I have to cite these things, right? Uh, when you when you write on a paper, so uh, we have to. I asked about the uh, where, where could I find these things. Now it gave me a general outcome okay like you can find it online database university libraries professional association 
uh, online repositories but i didn't ask for that i wanted to be i wanted it to be specific okay now i, I ask again like list the reference as citations so now Okay, so I think I stopped there. Uh, but what really happened was that uh, this is where the other part of GPT-3 come in. GPT-3 can give you citations. This is chat GPT. It doesn't know that much. Probably maybe my prompt is not, not that good enough. Now, now it's about writing more. Okay, so I asked, I asked it to write an essay based on all the data that we collected. So when you when you read it, it is actually a pretty good one. Okay, I uh, the the reason why I share you this is that this is how it is mostly used right now in the world. Mostly in the student communities, they want to write their own papers. Uh, they actually use for summarization, rewriting, uh, text manipulation. Uh, there are a lot of people saying that it is not ethical, it's not right and wrong. Um, what I am thinking right now is that. Like more than that, when internet came out, right? Like Google came out, it was different, difficult then. People don't really accept it, but then it becomes a norm. Like this, uh, I am sure that this could, this can also become a norm very soon. I mean, they, we have to find some other ways to mark uh, students then. Anyways, so uh, there are many ways you can use uh, this for text purposes. This is what I want you to know. Okay. Uh, it's beyond beyond the normal use case of GPT. We are going towards the coding side of it. Now, you know about Chamath? Okay, this guy, Chamath. Okay. Okay, find him, find him. I'm not going to spend time. But he said, we are moving from SAS to MAS. What is SAS? You all know that. What is MAS? Model as a service. Write it down. M-O-D-A, model. So what is a model then? So first, you have to know what GPT-3 is. So this is an out, output that I refined from a, a chat GPT uh, prompt. What is a GPT-3? GPT-3 is a, one of the la latest technology from OpenAI, OK? So uh, like chat GPT-3, chat GPT is only one hundredth of the size of GPT-3, OK? So this, this is huge, 100 times. Chat GPT, and it's still paid. You, I mean, we 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 have to pay OpenAI to access GPT three. So you have to know this term, large language model. Okay, this is what you have to write down, large language model. And this is the model, MAS, right? M A A S, model as a service. This is what they mean. Large language models in the future will replace softwares because people can access these AI technologies using API. Okay, it's that easy right now. Okay, we are not going there. And it says it's a type of AI trained to process and generate natural language text, like you know, like you just did, right? You can ask it anything and it is going to give you some output. Uh, so it can help you with machine translation, text summarization, language generation. Okay, let's move on from that. You can fine tune it for specific task. So fine tuning an AI is one of the main part of it. You, when the model as a service, you have to fine tune the AI for your case. Uh, case. What it can do is that, uh, for example, whatever we see now, it can generate human-like text. The text looks good because it looked like somebody wrote it, right? A human wrote it. That is the only reason why we liked it, or we, we call it, it's good. Now they say, like, uh, people, when students submitted this, they figured that it is not, it's from an AI. They give it the, like, a very base mark, uh, the, uh, like a mark, uh, like a mark that can score by a worst student in the class. But then they say, even that is a great thing, right, for an AI. An AI in its infancy state can get a grade that, uh, a lower grade, means that it can still improve like very soon 
it can it can it can get the status of a uh, the most performed performing student very soon right so um the rest is not important let's move on gpt3 is one among the many language models out there okay there are many uh, including google uh, all the big players have it but right now we are only concerned about gpt3 major gpt3 use cases people are writing books i mean I, when i say books and papers right people are not really using it as such we can develop our own idea using these technologies so it's not about like using the text that is get from that okay these things are tools these are tools just like we use our car this is a tool like imagine a car race right when uh, people race in different cars and when they win who is getting the prize the car or the person yeah exactly like that so ai ai is a tool okay whoever uses it can move forward faster than the rest of us and can win so use cases uh, people use it for books papers blogs these are the normal case studies um chatbots chatbots you can gpt3 for example very it's very easy to uh, generate a chatbot in gpt3 okay you just need to tell it like you are a chatbot and you have these many characteristics like you can be funny you can uh, give it specific uh, answers related to medical field so give it characteristics and it is going to act like a chatbot who knows these things just like a professional in that area okay it's that easy to build a chatbot no need for the big uh, big codes and uh, it can also be very accurate compared to our thing and also we can give it data we can train that as well for our own case case studies then the last one is writing code which is what we are here for now gpt3 um they also use like uh, they also gave data from the uh, github repositories as an input and they figure out something called codex okay so this is what i uh, learned first and this is what gave me like a real uh, hope that things can happen um so we will we will uh, i wanted usually this is what i teach but then now i thought okay we should test chat gpt because i think that is more uh, faster and better than codex um so it is actually descendant of gpt3 it it got uh, data from the github repository so it's billions line lines of code and it's it's not duplicating the codes okay so like remember this this is a fundamental thing you have to know when a, when a technology like this it doesn't get data from the internet and use it for you so whatever you are getting like for example the text that you get it's not copied from anywhere it's the data it's i mean it got its input data from the internet but these are like data points it doesn't need the internet now it can process its own outcomes from that it's just like we learn right we we read textbooks and then we find our own answers from that likewise the data that you get is not copied from somewhere like it's the same with here the code the code is actually questionable because sometimes there is no other way the code has structure right you have to follow certain structure so you can say like these things i also use these things but still uh, they say it's not copying it's actually getting data based on our product uh, pr prompt so uh, codex is proficient in the language in uh, programming languages javascript python go perl php ruby swift typescript shell so i want to know like what are the programs that you use right now is this side programs java java and ruby anything else dot net python okay this group javascript dot net typescript python java ellam java python 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 gana good one this one typescript javascript eda ruby okay swift good good agar apa padikam this group python typescript python python ah ningal school la college la padikina annalum they should talk some like what is in your uh, syllabus python right 
TC++. Okay. Fine. So, um, basically, um, Although they show these things, they know more than that. I tested it, okay? Probably all the languages that we mentioned, it knows. It knows already. So just to give you an idea what it is, it started from GPT-3. They developed something called Instruct GPT. Just, just know the names. And finally, it ended up in Chat GPT that we are using now. Now, the revolutionary thing that they did is that they gave it us for free, okay? Um, which was, which was uh, impossible until last month. Because they are, they are spending millions of dollars per day just to keep this thing running. And they are losing money. So they also can take this off very soon. So that's what I'm saying. Like Make use of it as long as you get time with it. Now, what is a code? What do you, what do you, is this a, a definition for code? What do you understand? You're all coders, right? What is code for you? Building blocks, yeah? What is code for you? You. Yeah, just what is your idea of a code? Instructions, yeah. Instructions? Same. A a any idea what, what a code can be? Is it, the, is it just the instructions that we give? Okay, let's see. So what we are going to do now is uh, we are going to start coding. Okay. Now I want you to first test like how many of you know JavaScript? Please raise your hands. Who knows JavaScript? Okay. What is the most used programming language? In, yeah. Oh, somebody said Python. <laughs> yeah. So JavaScript. You know JavaScript. There is a programming language for JavaScript. Is it Java? Okay. Just ask, please. You have the phone with you, right? Ask what is JavaScript. Just read me answers. So um, you know, you all know HTML, yeah, CSS, and then then JavaScript also should be fine, right? Okay, JavaScript has libraries. Anybody know that? Okay, okay. Okay, first I want you to ask, like, ask, ask the chat GPT that you have now, right? Use technology for your own purpose, for learning purpose. Ask, what is JavaScript? Give me a basic uh, structure of a JavaScript code. How do I code using HTML? You know, ask this thing, because we are going to code now. Okay. You can either follow you can either follow me or you start type your own, okay? We will start with JavaScript because I really want you to start here. Uh, one thing because I like it <laughs> and I learned this. But at the same time, uh, this is something that you can uh, learn faster and also um, you can create a lot more than you think you can, okay? JavaScript has many libraries. Uh, I use spe specific libraries like P5. Anybody knows P5? Okay, nobody. Fine, we will find that too. Uh, there are many resources available uh, for learning JavaScript as well. Okay, let's test it. Uh, first, I want you to ask this thing. Just follow my instructions here on the on the screen, or you just uh, type your own. Okay, but I'll I'll shout what I am doing. So, I don't know JavaScript. Teach me. 
So you can see that there are spelling mistakes, right? It's fine. It knows that we are dumb. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, in the meantime, I'll also, um, I'll also tell you about P5, okay? JavaScript has many libraries. Let me, uh, do you, uh, you, I mean, you should, can you go to this website, P5, um, p5.org? Ah, it's p5.js. There is this website called p5.js, p5.js. Okay. Um, So have you have you reached a site called p5.js like this? Yeah. Now in that you can have this thing called an editor. So editor.p5.js p5.js.org. Now this is a place where you can test your code right now. Okay, that is why. That is why we took this. Um, so if you um, I'm sure you in your phone are you all using Chrome? Do you have Chrome? Chrome will be the best browser. In the Chrome, you can on the top right corner, you will see three dots. You can use it as a desktop site. Okay, then you can get like you can use it exactly like a laptop right now. So, um, so let's test it. Let's test it. Okay, I'm, I'm asking again. I don't know JavaScript. Teach me. It is true. JavaScript is a programming language that is commonly used to add interactivity and functionality to websites. Here are some basic concepts you should get no you should start with variables, data types. Oh, this is a question. Okay. For example, there was a person who, who didn't know how to code here. Like, do we have to know all these things if you want to code? First question. Yeah. But in the case of AI, I will say no, you don't have to. You just need to be very sure about your idea. What do you want from it? Okay. So it writes for you. I mean, the burden, it takes the burden. Okay. You have to ask what you want in natural language. It will give you the code for it. So now it is giving you the options like oh, what are the things that is uh, the, the functions, the operators, the data types, variables, etc. Right. So uh, you don't need to know all this, but I will say you just need to know this much. You know HTML, okay? So basic HTML syntax, HTML head, HTML optional title, then there is body, then there is script. Where the script ends, in between you can add the JavaScript code, okay? And then you can run it in any browser. You will get the output. Now that is why Cortex is important. Which I know.
remember i told you something called codex right so this is what we are going to do now we will start experience what uh, what is a sandbox any idea what a sandbox is my friend is also here <laughs> okay what what is a sandbox that you can yeah now i get to it okay once again please uh -huh. um i uh, basically it's a playground right where you can test okay so this is a this is a, a sandbox that uh, uh, open i built for javascript so it's called codex javascript sandbox now um this is how i'm going to do we'll see what you can do we'll start with um, with a button you all know what a button is what's a button yeah something that we can click right let's start with that so I, i'm asking it okay generate a button um i'm going to okay i'm going to type some things that i learned as i kept typing a lot uh, but it's basically simple you have to visualize something write that in plain english okay so i'm going to ask generate a button uh a what button a rounded rectangle um sky blue gradient um sky blue gradient helvetica font um bold uh button called press me at the absolute center of screen okay so basically i'm asking it to generate a button i don't have to make it very beautiful i just i just i could have just asked generate a button it would still give me the outcome but i i'm i'm trying to be very specific okay i want a i want i want a rounded rectangle button because i just like rounded edges and let's see what it generates so what what you see on the side is the code okay this is javascript i didn't you don't have to know the code okay but it gives you the code what you want to know is that you have to think what you want to see okay so for me i wanted a button now it looks like a button but it's not i mean it's okay i have i mean i like the color um you can you can say okay make the font bigger you see that so do i really have to know what the font is because uh, if once i once you keep practicing it you will know that okay there is something called font here okay it says top left width height uh, font family helvetica because i asked for helvetica right so it gave me that it says bold here then it says uh, press me so if i press this uh, pencil button if i press this pencil button what happens is that i can edit that code there itself so I, if i change press me i can just press uh eureka okay what happens now what can happen now the text will change you see as simple as that so you don't have to know what else is happening there but once you go in when you once you understand like these things are happening and this this is why it is happening you will get to know okay this could this code is the, this chunk of code is the reason why it is showing like this okay now if i want to change something i just need to fix this code so it is going to give you codes like that. so now i say okay i like the button but i want it to be uh, i want it to be uh, 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 okay maybe maybe i don't want it to be bigger like this so again i'm going to edit this i i see like button style top button style left width and height okay i want it to be 100 100 so when i make it 100 what can happen now okay i made it shorter i i, I don't want that i want the rest like the height to be less so width can be 200 height can be lesser than 100 so it, let's make it uh, let's make it 60 and see so now it's it's getting like that okay okay i'm saying okay no i want it to be uh, the radius the border radius can be better so let's make it 10 from 10 i'll make it 20 okay so it's getting there some somewhere i want it 
Now I still don't feel like a button. Okay, button when I press, I want it to move. So I am saying like, okay, scale um, down the button on button. Okay, scale. Reduce the scale on button press and uh, bring it. Uh, okay. So right now I, I'm saying like I want to feel it like a button click. Okay, it has to go down when I press and it has to like the scale has to go less and then it has to come back. So it, so that we know some movement is happening, right? So I'm saying like reduce the scale on button press and uh, revert it back to normal on button release. Now, OK, let's test it. So I have a spelling mistake there, <coughs> but let's see what it can do. So I, I, I asked for, OK, I, I wanted to make it uh, like, OK, it's happening now, right? Now it now functions like a button. Uh, OK, I, I'm saying, OK, it's fine, but I still don't want that much of a movement. I, I want to make it smaller. So I see that uh, it, is, it, it gave me a, a chunk of code. This is a code segment in JavaScript. And uh, it says like mouse down. That means when I click like on mouse press, it is going to scale it down. So when I press, it scales down to 0 0.9. When I release, it goes back to normal size. So I know that, okay, this is the factor that is making it move, scale down, right? So I go there, I press the uh, pen button again. I make it 0 0.99, 99, okay? Like I just want a very feeble sense. Okay, now it's it's there. I, I like this. Now this is where we start. So what is the importance of a button? How many times do you use a switch in your room? Like you live in a room, right? On and off. Right? On and off. Like in a day, approximately how many times you use it? Like let's say the light switch or the, or the fan switch. Right? Yeah? Five times, ten times, hundred times? Not hundred, right? Twenty maybe. How many times you use the WhatsApp button? The send button, right? Yeah. Like comparatively, is it more than 100 a day? Yeah. So you see buttons are part of our life. So this is our uh, experiment right now. Okay. Every team, I want you to think about something that can happen when you press a button. You don't, you don't know what to happen? Okay, let, let me show you what can happen, okay? Uh, let's make it very basic. Okay, on button press, fill the background in black. Okay, so what can happen now? When I press the button, it has to go black. Wow, it worked. Right now, I say okay. Um, um, revert it back to white on the next button press. Okay, okay. Now when I hold, it works. So. So it says mouse up, it is going to be white. Okay, so now it's mouse up, right? I'm not clicking now. Now I'm gonna say, okay, uh, make a rainbow colors appear on each button press. Now it knows what rainbow colors are, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, all are there. And let's see what if what if it works or not. Okay, so it, it changed the button color, but I didn't ask for that, right? So that means my prompt is not good, good, good enough. So maybe, maybe uh, uh, make rainbow colors appear 
what what can i say in the uh, in the background uh, on each button press so i can i can just remove this i don't want that okay now let's see okay so it's happening right so likewise you can really think anything can happen in a button press so the assignment is this all group come together like back to your cluster think about something that can happen on a button press yeah just think i mean it can do anything okay we will we'll test its potential we'll see what it can do yeah go back to your groups figure out something like you have five, no, like 2 minutes അമ്മയാണ് പറഞ്ഞില്ല what do you see uh, on screen now i asked it to test something like the have you seen the movie matrix the first one the first and original good one okay um so you see that, like the raining uh, letters right remember like when the movie starts so it should give me that okay <laughs> by the way the original one right they say um, the wishlist guy right whoever developed this he got that text from uh, his wife's sushi menu okay and those are like japanese alphabets they used originally um now you see like just this code okay just one prompt just one prompt to generate something like this now this is where the power comes in okay this is where it can go beyond a normal button and all the things that we did that is why i said like think about an idea that can work now um what is happening here you can see that many letters are fallen right so these are the codes for that let's don't let's not worry about that but just think like what is happening uh, what are the what are the letters as per uh, here happening now it says uh, where where exactly is this so it's going there on the there are fill style which means the color it's a random right okay so so it, it's going random okay <laughs> which is good okay let's let's ask it then i uh, make make okay you work on your code by the way this is some some test i want to show you ah uh, yeah okay let's just uh, come here you try type So 
so you see like i made it like this okay button is here you just need to type ask it something and it is going to give you that so the button functions until here is same for everyone each group has to try at least one prompt that can function where that can do something when the button is pressed do here okay you have to think about your idea but then you have to also divide that idea into small steps like think about the ai okay you have to be very kind to it it's just in, in infancy state so it doesn't know exactly what you want you can't just ask it to write an app for you it won't write an app for you it will write it will write a code snippet for you okay a small piece of like sets of code so that you can be very specific what you want or you write down the prompt first like write down the prompt first and then ask it once you write the prompt you can ask that prompt to chat gpt ask your prompt to chat gpt directly and see what it gives you okay so it gives it gives you a a, a url so we'll test it we'll test it Okay, it says loading because that is the inner HTML here. Now, this is a sandbox, right? It doesn't have to work, uh, but the code, do you think the code is uh, valid? Like, so it, yeah, but the API, it's not its job, right? It's our job to find the API. So if we can get the API, it should work. That is the idea. So yeah, it is a working code. Thank you. Bro. It's good. It's good one. Yeah. Likewise, you see, you see it already got a code. Now this is a web app, right? You already have an app. Okay. Any anything else? Next group. Next group. So I, I'll just I'll just paste this in the in the WhatsApp group. Okay, so you can use it later. We will also test it in P5 so that in case if it works, sometimes it may not work in the sandbox, but it can work in P5. Okay, so the API API is not a valid API, but you can change that. Okay, cool. Other team, where you are the team, where you next team, eat him in the Nava. But you didn't know under the video, that's a video, out to doubt it. I was put it. When we click this button, it will show the properties of this device. Out to get Okay. Oh, 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 no. Okay, he found something very interesting. Now it's getting very interesting. Just ask something. Just ask something. Just ask something. Just ask something. Just ask Uh, 
Okay, this is very interesting. Okay. In my previous session, people asked to uh, asked you to play a song, asked um, asked for a game, asked for uh, balloons to appear on screen. Like you can ask anything. Just think. Just be very creative. Oh no. Oh no. Allah, I'm going to guarantee. Okay, he's going to put that code in the group. Okay. Uh, actually, I created a button. Uh, I asked uh, to create a button. When click will show the system properties. It will output the uh, system properties of this One of the device what? we are using. Like so, uh, for example, if I'm using this device, so it will uh, show uh, what kind of browser I'm using. Uh, then the properties like uh, the uh, RAM, then Linux, the OS and all. Thank you. So, yeah, that is a good one. That is a good one. Any, anybody else in this group? Ah. Create a like button. Ah. Show Show in the background. 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 Show now, when you ask for a specific image, right, it, it may not give you the exact image, but it will give you a dummy link. I link, you just need to give your image. It will work. Every team, I need one, one project, okay? Image. Ah, pardon. Image. Messi Trophy. Messi Trophy. It may not know. Messira trophy image, but she will give you a dummy image link. Chalapad another image on Dava, Jalpunganilla. But you just need to replace that link with the Messi's photo, okay? Ah, Dali is a great idea. Alla Jambar in there, a Padu, a little story in there. You are that that we have to decide right? where where to lo load that image, but basically. It's a functioning code. The, the main thing you have to understand is that this code works. That is the bigger thing here, okay? When it works, that means it's error free. As, as a human being, we are tend to make errors, right? It doesn't. It doesn't do even the error that it makes, it's mostly because of our prompt. Of our prompt being wrong. Okay, there are people doing it and they are very silent. Okay, just say what, what it is. Uh, just a day and night animation. What, what is happening? Everyone can come. Okay, they are all doing it. They are on devices. Come here. What, what does it do? Day and night animation. Just a run generator. Correct. I love it. But what was the original idea? Animation here. Uh, sun and moon. Now he is talking about animation. Okay. Now this is a big deal. I'm, I'm a, I was a, I was a professor who I was an assistant professor who was, who taught animation at a university. Okay, I know how difficult it is to make an animation, and this is he did it with few lines of code. Okay, in in animation industry we do that with a lot of computing power. Now then the next step is the P5. So P5 that you saw here, right? So let me show you some projects that I did on P5. Um. Okay, so this is something uh, I did. Uh, P5 has 3D in it. So I said, okay, I want to make something with Malayalam thing. And I made this. Okay. It's basically cube with an image of letter R. And I am on the Wikipedia. Okay. Uh, so I asked for it. It gave me the code. And it can be moved using interactive. It's an interactive space. Now this is what libraries does. You can move in, move out. Now this is big deal. So he actually did something similar, but plain JavaScript. Now this is using a library called P5. Now libraries help us to bring our codes to next like different levels. 
Okay, P5 is one. Another cool JavaScript library is 3.js. Yes, 3.js. You know that, right? Okay, <laughs> whoever knows things should ask better questions. Okay, don't just wait for me to come with better questions. Now imagine like things like this can work great in a in an art installation, right? Poi art the binala can you any Okay, I also figured something interesting. Okay, let's see. Let's see this. Uh, I'm not sure it will work or not, but let's see. Okay, what can happen? Oh, no, the sound is not working. Is it because of my audio? But somehow, when I press, yeah, it can function like a piano. Or maybe because... Huh? Sound in here. Maybe because... This is a basic. I made it mute. That's why. Okay, so it can function with audio. Now, what is the benefit for this? I really wanted to show you the use cases, but I don't. I don't have the time here. But I have so many things can happen. Okay, like this is how I think. I think everything in terms of text, image, audio, and video. So this is my industry and how this is how I think. It may be different for you. Maybe for you it's purely code. It's purely your own sort of, uh, language. But whichever way you think, your idea is, think on that. Like do it right now. We can figure it out. Okay? Get an idea. Divide that into simple steps. Try to figure it out. Um, so uh, these are like, I, I developed this thing like uh, using Cortex, I guess. But now let's go back to, uh, let's go back to like all the, this team. I need one response from every team. Okay, okay. They're, they're going to give you something secret. Okay. Out of the GPU, that's it. Uh, e team in on the no. Why do? You can't They already made some. Okay, you can showcase already what you have made. Okay. He made a, 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 a ball that goes around the screen, like in, in the container, right? Yeah. You already did? He made the same. Then the chain of the Yeah, that's a, actually, it's actually a meme called Bouncing ah. DVD logo. Ah. Corner. Ah. What happens? Nothing happens. Oh, oh, oh. oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Please, more. What is the story behind it? It should not hit or it will never hit. Yeah, it will hit, uh, but rarely it hits the corner. Okay. So you asked uh, specifically that? No, I just asked him to uh -huh. generate the bouncing DVD log. It, oh, oh, it, gave, it gave you this. It knows that. It knows the, it knows the idea, but yeah. it gave you a circle, right? Yeah. You didn't ask for the circle. No. But how does the color change? Uh, actually, in the uh, actual theme, uh, the color changes. It changes. Yeah. So it knows already the color changes. No, it was in, it was a static color. I asked him to change. Okay. It. So he asked to change the color and it does. Okay. Thank you. What's your name? Amal. Amal. Thank you, Amal. E group. Either uh, group. Uh, this group. You all did you show already? Yeah. Either one. And there's some. Okay, okay. He uh, just explain. Oh no, it's no, not no, interesting. No, it's no. Just... There is nothing good or bad here. 
he he made something and he's going to explain no it was not me that dude made i just added a feature srihari srihari but just explain explain okay but what is idea be no no bolta kya no idea par rahe na alle ba add the number invite invite somebody ha ah, yeah cool yeah no he is the one who made it okay, okay. okay. you are the guest okay you you show us ha ah, yeah basically yeah, just uh, click click it and read it okay read so, it out loud okay I, now I, read it out loud then click it i it it, it says never okay. now i can click so i press click me i never gonna give you up never okay never gonna did you get, give did you get the no no one here yeah oh okay so it's sorry. a recrawl it's a <laughs> okay thank you thank you brother that's a good one why why do you say it's like it's a small one right yeah it is it still needs processing right you had to give prompts for that yeah i mean that is what i am saying mm. i gave it the uh, instruction made sure to make it less uh, made sure to make it ambiguous uh huh i gave an instruction that was not exactly present yeah yet it understood what i meant yeah so that is something it that is good right so it knows now that is codex right now let's try uh, any any other team e team on there no varu please varu idarana team ningal aanu vanna vera team alle aa ningal oral vanna pare etra perle come here come here please varu varu ാണോ <laughs> വരില്ല <laughs> 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 so so and if you want to do animation like like the one i show you it won't work in plain javascript it has to go like you have to be specific that you have to ask for p5 will work in the animation that i'm around up with it okay yeah. i will consider this as a work yeah you know you already got it and um okay the pop-up it may not work പോപ്പപ്പ് വർക്ക് ചെയ്യാൻ സാധ്യത കുറവാണ് അതുകൊണ്ടായിരിക്കും കേട്ടോ ബട്ട് ഇറ്റ് ബട്ട് കോഡ് വന്നല്ലോ ഓക്കെ ഫൈൻ താങ്ക് യു ഓക്കെ ഓക്കെ നമുക്ക് മൂവ് ഓൺ ചെയ്യാം ചാറ്റ് ജി പി ടിയിൽ എന്തൊക്കെ ചെയ്യാൻ നോക്കാം ചാറ്റ് ജി പി ടി ചാറ്റ് ജി പി ടി എടുത്താലും പ്രോഗ്രാമിംഗ് എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ആശയത്തിന്റെ ഒരു പുതിയ വഴിയാണ് ദിസ് കുഡ് ബി ദിസ് കുഡ് ബി ദ വേ ദാറ്റ് ന്യൂ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ന്യൂ വേ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എന്താ പറയുക ന്യൂ ദ ന്യൂ വേ ഓഫ് ലേണിംഗ് കോഡ് ആൻഡ് എക്സിക്യൂട്ടിംഗ് കോഡ് കുഡ് ബി ദിസ് 
just imagine if you know like I, this is how i think okay this is how i think i imagine an idea in terms of prompt i write those prompt down i execute those prompt and i end up with a program now just imagine how much time it can take to complete all the prompt in a matter of minutes yeah i tested it myself and i was able to build products out of it okay now this is another interesting part you don't have to start with a big idea i started for example i had a i have something here um so do i have to show you that i don't know but yeah it's not a big deal but for me it is because i learned it from scratch um this is my one of my pro one of my products okay it may not look good in that no but Okay, so what it does basically is uh, it's a it's a Dali image generator. Okay, Dali, you all you, you all know Dali, right? It's it's text to image. So say something, we'll type and see. What do you want to see? Software engineer of future. Which year you want to see? Engineer in twenty twenty fifty. Okay. So, uh, any any more description you want? Um, uh, India, Indian. Okay, let's see. I hope it gives you. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let me let us see it um properly <laughs> okay um so you know that like dali still still uh, they are still concerned with the faces so they may not give you good faces but there are other uh, so like other ai platforms like mid journey stable diffusion all are good at faces so you can try that too um okay where am i anyways so uh, what i did was i i tried to i tried to build an interface for this and uh, i also tested with the text part of it and the image part of it the video part is not yet out yet i mean not yet accessible to public yet but there is text to image text to video already there the technology is already there but it's not perfect right now uh, imagine the possibilities that it can have when it comes to mainstream right anyone can create uh, like videos like this this is images but then the next could be videos now my interest i am i am trying to, i am always kind of very skeptical about these things like okay the technology is good but what can happen next so chat gpt um let let me tell you why it is still um different from the other cortex and gpt3 people are humans are involved in the making of this technology okay until the last one it was computer training itself here humans are in the decision making process they actually told it what is good what is bad uh, based on the responses so the, they were able to rank the quality and that is why it is uh, it, was, it is able to give you great outputs so chat gpt outputs are better than gpt3 outputs comparatively but although it is 100 times smaller but it still performs better than gpt3 now why this is the this is the problem with this some people say um chat gpt3 is not that revolutionary because it is going to take a lot of money and uh, computer power like it says 10 to 100 times costlier than a normal google search okay so it is not feasible for them to give it for free so how can what is the like the last part of this like how can it get more efficient you, we all know that the, the answer can be wrong right we can we can't be sure that it is going to give you the right output so they say it can get better only with ai itself the ai can train itself to get better now facebook tried that you heard that story facebook tried that some year back and it started talking to itself okay so, yeah, between two ai so uh, now that is the question that we really have to ask can you really control the misuse of ai for example now now the api is open it's going public we are doing things like this now we are doing the basics of coding now but people who knows the code just think about what they can do with this technology right you you already know like 
if it can answer this it can answer about anything related to code related to any programming language um can ai be self aware we know that it can but my question is will i even know if it becomes self aware namukku ariyan pattuo now why does it matter to us your jobs depends on that okay your literally your jobs depends on its awareness now the real question is this but still we use it right we will use it and we are going to use it we are it is going to come down to every stream of the industry that we are working in now uh ningala jobs including your companies they say if it is possible for them to adopt it they will adopt it okay so you just can't depend on their words people will uh try it test it this is error less uh, mostly error free um and humans okay the 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 initial announcement was before i reached here they said a is going to come it's going to take away all the low level jobs okay all the human labor now what we are seeing now is the total exact opposite of it okay it took away the artists were the last on the list okay they said okay, the artists are still going to thrive in the in the in the realm of ai but then they said the first thing came out was all about art okay every art industry every artist is is uh, is having a challenge now you see the movement happening now right but then they say the next is uh, the software guys okay so programming it started it started its move towards it now who is ai going to replace your jobs yes or no my question is this like listen carefully is the technology going to replace your jobs who is going to replace your jobs the person who knows that technology will replace your job it could be the person sitting next to you or next room or next company who is going to come here and get your job okay so uh now it's the, it's the, like it's the infancy state right now right this is the time you can learn and you have to learn there is no other way okay at some point this will become a norm a standard i'm i'm to- i'm not talking about the good and bad here okay the bad and good comes later i'm pretty sure the bad will happen okay the same with the good but when the bad happens my question is this will it will how will i even know if i don't know about this if you don't know what it can do how will i know that something bad has happened already okay now to do now that means new problems are going to come up if the world already has problems we are going to face new problems related to these technologies now how will we solve those pro- problems we will have to use these technologies to find the solution for those problems right now we can't think about those problems because it is connected to each the technology itself so my question is this we have to learn it now because it gives this uh, give us the competitive advantage of time okay why Ch- chat gpt works why people will still go for it is that it will save you time you don't have to learn entire like four years on a, in a college you will you can learn everything in a matter of literally minutes and hours okay you don't need to know entire program for example i made an entire python course sitting like one hour in the office right now okay is that easy now i'm talking about the things that we can teach that we can learn you don't have to know the entire textbook just enough for you to work on just enough for you to work on your idea that's why i said your idea matters more than the programming language what people are, will want to see from you are the things that you have done with it not the software not the language you know what can you do with it show show me show them the products that you can build so that is where these technologies come in where you can use their api so by the time since you all or have logged in right you all have access to the api now okay they gave you like 18 dollar free credit now 18 dollar is still small but there are many things you can do with that money now for in my in my case i want to take this further i want to really teach people um, how to code especially in using ai okay this is what my mission is so i built this website called learn ai code okay you can scan this this is actually the link for it or you can write this link or join later but i really want you to help me with this if you can because we can build you see how many programs that we just built in the same session right we all have some output in your phones right now you can share to that group or or we can like create as many codes you want by the way you just need to ask chat gpt you didn't ask i guess you need to ask and it will give you the code okay with example with comments 
with uh, why it is written so i no teachers will give you that much of data uh, data right so yeah that is my session people like uh, i really want you to try and see try and see what it can do okay i don't know how it works for your industry but i'm sure that it will have a, a greater impact on you as a person and for your work in the near future if you know this technology thank you very much thank you Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, so this was Fire Pot ET Kochi Edition 35, 35th number, and we have some snacks arranged for you. Thank you. <laughs>